The brown algae, singular, alga, comprising the class Pheophysiae, are a large group of multicellular algae, including many seaweeds located in colder waters within the northern hemisphere. Most brown algae live in marine environments, where they play an important role both as food and as habitat. For instance, Macrocystis, a kelp of the order Laminariales, may reach 60 meters 200 feet in length and forms prominent underwater kelp forests. Kelp forests like these contain a high level of biodiversity. Another example is Sargassum, which creates unique floating mats of seaweed in the tropical waters of the Sargasso Sea that serve as the habitats for many species. Many brown algae, such as members of the order Fucales, commonly grow along rocky seashores. Some members of the class, such as kelps, are used by humans as food. Between 1,500 and 2,000 species of brown algae are known worldwide. Some species, such as Ascophyllum nodosum, are important in commercial use because they have become subjects of extensive research in their own right. They have environmental importance too through carbon fixation. Brown algae belong to the group Heterocontophyta, a large group of eukaryotic organisms distinguished most prominently by having chloroplasts surrounded by four membranes, suggesting an origin from a symbiotic relationship between a basal eukaryote and another eukaryotic organism. Most brown algae contain the pigment fucococcinthin, which is responsible for the distinctive greenish brown color that gives them their name. Brown algae are unique among heterocants in developing into multicellular forms with differentiated tissues, but they reproduce by means of flagellated spores and gametes that closely resemble cells of other heterocants. Genetic studies show their closest relatives to be the yellow-green algae. Morphology Brown algae exist in a wide range of sizes and forms. The smallest members of the group grow as tiny, feathery tufts of thread-like cells no more than a few centimeters long. Some species have a stage in their life cycle that consists of only a few cells, making the entire alga microscopic. Other groups of brown algae grow to much larger sizes. The rockweeds and leathery kelps are often the most conspicuous algae in their habitats. Kelps can range in size from the two-foot-tall sea palm postelsia to the giant kelp Macrocystis pirifera, which grows to over 45 meters 150 feet long and is the largest of all the algae. In form, the brown algae range from small crusts or cushions to leafy free-floating mats formed by species of sargassum. They may consist of delicate felt-like strands of cells, as in ectocarpus, or of foot-long flattened branches resembling a fan, as in padina. Regardless of size or form, two visible features set the Pheophysiae apart from all other algae. First, members of the group possess a characteristic color that ranges from an olive green to various shades of brown. The particular shade depends upon the amount of fucococcinthin present in the alga. Second, all brown algae are multicellular. There are no known species that exist as single cells or as colonies of cells, and the brown algae are the only major group of seaweeds that does not include such forms. However, this may be the result of classification rather than a consequence of evolution, as all the groups hypothesized to be the closest relatives of the browns include single-celled or colonial forms. Visible structures Whatever their form, the body of all brown algae is termed a thallus, indicating that it lacks the complex xylem and phloem of vascular plants. This does not mean that brown algae completely lack specialized structures but, because some botanists define true stems, leaves, and roots by the presence of these tissues, their absence in the brown algae means that the stem-like and leaf-like structures found in some groups of brown algae must be described using different terminology. Although not all brown algae are structurally complex, those that are typically possess one or more characteristic parts. A holefast is a root-like structure present at the base of the alga. Like a root system in plants, a holefast serves to anchor the alga in place on the substrate where it grows, and thus prevents the alga from being carried away by the current. Unlike a root system, the holefast generally does not serve as the primary organ for water uptake, nor does it take in nutrients from the substrate. The overall physical appearance of the holefast differs among various brown algae and among various substrates. It may be heavily branched, or it may be cup-like in appearance. A single alga typically has just one holefast, although some species have more than one stipe growing from their holefast. 
A stipe is a stalk or stem-like structure present in an alga. It may grow as a short structure near the base of the alga, as in laminaria, or it may develop into a large, complex structure running throughout the algal body, as in sargassum or macrocystis. In the most structurally differentiated brown algae, such as fucus, the tissues within the stipe are divided into three distinct layers or regions. These regions include a central pith, a surrounding cortex, and an outer epidermis, each of which has an analog in the stem of a vascular plant. In some brown algae, the pith region includes a core of elongated cells that resemble the phloem of vascular plants both in structure and function. In others, such as nariocystis, the center of the stipe is hollow and filled with gas that serves to keep that part of the alga buoyant. The stipe may be relatively flexible and elastic in species like Macrocystis pirifera that grow in strong currents, or may be more rigid in species like Postelsia palmiformis that are exposed to the atmosphere at low tide. Many algae have a flattened portion that may resemble a leaf, and this is termed a blade, lamina, or frond. The name blade is most often applied to a single undivided structure, while frond may be applied to all or most of an algal body that is flattened, but this distinction is not universally applied. The name lamina refers to that portion of a structurally differentiated alga that is flattened. It may be a single or a divided structure, and may be spread over a substantial portion of the alga. In rockweeds, for example, the lamina is a broad wing of tissue that runs continuously along both sides of a branched midrib. The midrib and lamina together constitute almost all of a rockweed, so that the lamina is spread throughout the alga rather than existing as a localized portion of it. In some brown algae, there is a single lamina or blade, while in others there may be many separate blades. Even in those species that initially produce a single blade, the structure may tear with rough currents or as part of maturation to form additional blades. These blades may be attached directly to the stipe, to a holdfast with no stipe present, or there may be an air bladder between the stipe and blade. The surface of the lamina or blade may be smooth or wrinkled, its tissues may be thin and flexible or thick and leathery. In species like Agrigia menzisi, this characteristic may change depending upon the turbulence of the waters in which it grows. In other species, the surface of the blade is coated with slime to discourage the attachment of epiphytes or to deter herbivores. Blades are also often the parts of the alga that bear the reproductive structures. Gas-filled floats called pneumatocysts provide buoyancy in many kelps and members of the fucales. These bladder-like structures occur in or near the lamina, so that it is held nearer the water surface and thus receives more light for photosynthesis. Pneumatocysts are most often spherical or ellipsoidal, but can vary in shape among different species. Species such as Nariocystis lutkina and Pelagophycus pora bear a single large pneumatocyst between the top of the stipe and the base of the blades. In contrast, the giant kelp Macrocystis pirifera bears many blades along its stipe, with a pneumatocyst at the base of each blade where it attaches to the main stipe. Species of Sargassum also bear many blades and pneumatocysts, but both kinds of structures are attached separately to the stipe by short stalks. In species of fucus, the pneumatocysts develop within the lamina itself, either as discrete spherical bladders or as elongated gas-filled regions that take the outline of the lamina in which they develop. Growth The brown algae include the largest and fastest growing of seaweeds. Fronds of macrocystis may grow as much as 50 cm per day, and the stipes can grow 6 cm in, in a single day. Growth in most brown algae occurs at the tips of structures as a result of divisions in a single apical cell or in a row of such cells. As this apical cell divides, the new cells that it produces develop into all the tissues of the alga. Branchings and other lateral structures appear when the apical cell divides to produce two new apical cells. However, a few groups such as ectocarpus grow by a diffuse, unlocalized production of new cells that can occur anywhere on the thallus. Tissue organization The simplest browns are filamentous, that is, their cells are elongate and have septa cutting across their width. They branch by getting wider at their tip, and then dividing the widening. Aside from filamentous forms, there are two main types of tissue organization in the brown algae, pseudoparenchymatous haplostichus, and parenchymatous polystichus. The fronds may be multi-axial or monoaxial. 
The cell wall consists of two layers, the inner layer bears the strength, and consists of cellulose, the outer wall layer is mainly algin, and is gummy when wet, but becomes hard and brittle when it dries out. Evolutionary history Genetic and ultrastructural evidence place the Pheophysiae among the heterocants stramenopiles, a large assemblage of organisms that includes both photosynthetic members with plastids such as the diatoms as well as non-photosynthetic groups such as the slime nets and water molds. Although some heterocant relatives of the brown algae lack plastids in their cells, scientists believe this is a result of evolutionary loss of that organelle in those groups rather than independent acquisition by the several photosynthetic members. Thus, all heterocants are believed to descend from a single heterotrophic ancestor that became photosynthetic when it acquired plastids through endosymbiosis of another unicellular eukaryote. The closest relatives of the brown algae include unicellular and filamentous species, but no unicellular species of brown algae are known. However, most scientists assume that the Pheophysiae evolved from unicellular ancestors. DNA sequence comparison also suggests that the brown algae evolved from the filamentous Pheothamniophysiae, Xanthophysiae, or the Chrysophysiae between 150 and 200 million years ago. In many ways, the evolution of the brown algae parallels that of the green algae and red algae, as all three groups possess complex multicellular species with an alternation of generations. Analysis of five srRNA sequences reveals much smaller evolutionary distances among genera of the brown algae than among genera of red or green algae, which suggests that the brown algae have diversified much more recently than the other two groups. Fossils The occurrence of Pheophysiae as fossils is rare due to their generally soft-bodied nature, and scientists continue to debate the identification of some finds. Part of the problem with identification lies in the convergent evolution of morphologies between many brown and red algae. Most fossils of soft tissue algae preserve only a flattened outline, without the microscopic features that permit the major groups of multicellular algae to be reliably distinguished. Among the brown algae, only species of the genus Pedina deposit significant quantities of minerals in or around their cell walls. Other algal groups, such as the red algae and green algae, have a number of calcareous members. Because of this, they are more likely to leave evidence in the fossil record than the soft bodies of most brown algae and more often can be precisely classified. Fossils comparable in morphology to brown algae are known from strata as old as the upper Ordovician, but the taxonomic affinity of these impression fossils is far from certain. Claims that earlier Ediacaran fossils are brown algae have since been dismissed. While many carbonaceous fossils have been described from the Precambrian, they are typically preserved as flattened outlines or fragments measuring only millimeters long. Because these fossils lack features diagnostic for identification at even the highest level, they are assigned to fossil form taxa according to their shape and other gross morphological features. A number of Devonian fossils termed fucoids, from their resemblance in outline to species in the genus Fucus, have proven to be inorganic rather than true fossils. The Devonian megafossil prototaxites, which consists of masses of filaments grouped into trunk-like axes, has been considered a possible brown alga. However, modern research favors reinterpretation of this fossil as a terrestrial fungus or fungal-like organism. Likewise, the fossil Protosalvinia was once considered a possible brown alga, but is now thought to be an early land plant. A number of Paleozoic fossils have been tentatively classified with the brown algae, although most have also been compared to known red algae species. Phascolophilophycus possesses numerous elongate, inflated blades attached to a stipe. It is the most abundant of algal fossils found in a collection made from Carboniferous strata in Illinois. Each hollow blade bears up to eight pneumatocysts at its base, and the stipes appear to have been hollow and inflated as well. This combination of characteristics is similar to certain modern genera in the order Laminariales Celts. Several fossils of Drydenia and a single specimen of Hungerfordia from the Upper Devonian of New York have also been compared to both brown and red algae. Fossils of Drydenia consist of an elliptical blade attached to a branching filamentous holefast, not unlike some species of Laminaria, Porphyra, or Gigartina. 
The single known specimen of Hungerfordia branches dichotomously into lobes and resembles genera like Chondrus and Fucus or Dictyota. The earliest known fossils that can be assigned reliably to the Pheophysiae come from Miocene diatomite deposits of the Monterey Formation in California. Several soft bodied brown macroalgae, such as Julescranea, have been found. Classification phylogeny based on the work of Silberfeld, Rousseau, and de Riviere's 2014. Taxonomy This is a list of the orders in the class Pheophysiae, class Pheophysiae Hansgerg 1886, Fucophysiae, Melanophysidae Ravenhorst 1863 Stat. November. Cavalier Smith, 2006, subclass Discosperangiophysidae Silberfeld, Rousseau and Riviere's 2014 order Discosperangialis Schmidt 1937 amend. Kawai et al. 2007 Family Charisticarpaceae Kielman 1891 Family Discosperangiaceae Schmidt 1937 Subclass Ishigeophysidae Silberfeld, Rousseau and Riviere's 2014 Order Ishigiels Cho and Bu 2004 Family Petrodermataceae Silberfeld, Rousseau and Riviere's 2014 Family Ishigaceae Okamura 1935 Subclass Dictypophysidae Silberfeld, Rousseau and Riviere's 2014 Order Syringodermatales Henry 1984 Family Syringodermataceae Henry 1984 Order Onslowialis Dresma and Prudum van Rijn 2008 Family Onslowiaceae Dresma and Prudum van Rijn 2001 Order Dictyotales Bori de Saint Vincent 1828 X Phillips et al. Family Dictyotaceae Lamoru X Dumortier 1822, Scoresbiolaceae Wummersley 1987, Dictyopsidaceae, Order Sphacillariales Migala 1909, Family Lithodermataceae Hawk 1883, Family Pheostrophiaceae Kawai et al. 2005 Family Sphacellodermaceae Dresma, Prudum and Kawai 2010 Family Stipicolaceae Oltmans 1922 Family Cladostiphaceae Oltmans 1922 Family Sphacellariaceae Decane 1842 Subclass Fucophysidae Cavalier Smith 1986 Order De Maristiales Sechel and Gardner 1925 Family Arthrocladiaceae Chauvin 1842 Family De Maristiaceae Thoray Kielman 1880 Order Sporocnale Sauvageau 1920 26 Family Sporocnaceae Greville 1830 Order Escocirales Petrov 1964 Amend. Moe and Henry 1982 Family Ascaceraceae Scottsburg 1907 Order Cytothumnails Peters and Clayton 1998 Amend. Silberfeld et al. 2011 Family Asteronimataceae Silberfeld et al. 2011 Family Bacheloceaceae Silberfeld et al. 2011 Family Splachnidiaceae Mitchell and Whitting 1892, Cytothemnaceae Wummersley 1987, Order Laminariales Migala 1909, Pheosiphanilales Silberfeld, Rousseau and Riviere's 2014 Ord. November Prop Family Pheosiphanilaceae Phillips et al. 2008 Family Axificaceae Kawai and Sasaki 2000 Family Pseudocordaceae Kawai and Kurogi 1985 Family Cordaceae Dumortier 1822 Family Agaraceae Postels and Ruprecht 1840 Costariaceae Family Laminariaceae Bori de Saint Vincent 1827 Arthrothemnaceae Petrov 1974 Family Oriophicaceae Kawai and Ridgeway 2013 Family Alariaceae Sechel and Gardner 1925 Lessoniaceae Setchell and Gardner 1925, Order Asterocladales T. Silberfeld et al. 2011 Family Asterocladaceae Silberfeld et al. 2011 Order Ectocarpalas Bessie 1907 Amend. Rousseau and Riviere's 1999A Cordariales Setchell and Gardner 1925, Dictyosiphanales Setchell and Gardner 1925, Cytosiphanales Feldman 1949, Family, Suricarpaceae Family Adenocystaceae Rousseau et al. 2000 Amend. Silberfeld et al. 2011 Cordariopsidaceae. Family Cytosophonaceae Ardisoni and Straforello 1877, Schnusporaceae Sechel and Gardner 1925, Family Petrospongiaceae Racco et al. 2009 Family Ectocarpaceae Agod 1828 Amend. Silberfeld et al. 2011 Family Asinetosporaceae Hamel X Feldman 1937, Pylialaceae, Pylialaceae Family Cordariaceae Greville 1830 Amend. Peters and Ramirez 2001, Myronimitaceae, Order St. Chapaviales Family St. Chapaviaceae Kawai 2004 Family Halosiphonaceae Kawai and Sasaki 2000 Family Platysiphonaceae Order Tilitaridales Bessie 1907 Amend. Phillips et al. 
2008, Cutleriales Bessie 1907, Family, Masonoficaceae Family Tilateridaceae Kelman 1890 Family Filariaceae Tilden 1935, Family Cutleriaceae Griffith and Henfrey 1856 Order Ravziales Nakamura X Lim and Kawai 2007, Family Mesosporaceae Tanaka and Chihara 1982, Family Neoravziaceae Lim and Kawai 2007, Family Ravziaceae Farlow 1881, Heterocordariaceae Sechel and Gardner 1925 Order Nemodermatales Parenti et al. 2008 Family Nemodermataceae Cuckock X Feldman 1937 Order Fucales Bori de Saint Vincent 1827 Nuthiels Wummersley 1987 Dervilles Petrov 1965 Family Bifurcariopsidaceae Cho et al. 2006 Family Hormoseraceae Fritch 1945 Family Nuthiaceae Schmidt 1938 Family Cyrococcaceae Nizamudden 1987 Family Xiphophoraceae Cho et al. 2006 Family Sargassaceae Cutsing 1843 Cystoceraceae de Tony 1891 Family Dervilaceae Oltmans de Tony 1891 Family Homontheliaceae Kielman de Tony 1891 Family Fucaceae Addinson 1763 Life Cycle Most Brown Algae, with the exception of the Fucales, perform sexual reproduction through sporic meiosis. Between generations, the algae go through separate sporophyte diploid, and gametophyte haploid phases. The sporophyte stage is often the more visible of the two, though some species of brown algae have similar diploid and haploid phases. Free-floating forms of brown algae often do not undergo sexual reproduction until they attach themselves to substrate. The haploid generation consists of male and female gametophytes. The fertilization of egg cells varies between species of brown algae, and may be isogamous, oogamous, or anisogamous. Fertilization may take place in the water with eggs and motile sperm, or within the ugonium itself. Certain species of brown algae can also perform asexual reproduction through the production of motal diploid zoospores. These zoospores form in pleurilocular sporangium, and can mature into the sporophyte phase immediately. In a representative species laminaria, there is a conspicuous diploid generation and smaller haploid generations. Meiosis takes place within several unilocular sporangium along the algae's blade, each one forming either haploid male or female zoospores. The spores are then released from the sporangia and grow to form male and female gametophytes. The female gametophyte produces an egg in the ugonium, and the male gametophyte releases motile sperm that fertilize the egg. The fertilized zygote then grows into the mature diploid sporophyte. In the order Fucales, sexual reproduction is oogamous, and the mature diploid is the only form for each generation. Gametes are formed in specialized conceptacles that occur scattered on both surfaces of the receptacle, the outer portion of the blades of the parent plant. Egg cells and motile sperm are released from separate sacs within the conceptacles of the parent algae, combining in the water to complete fertilization. The fertilized zygote settles onto a surface and then differentiates into a leafy thallus and a finger-like holefast. Light regulates differentiation of the zygote into blade and holefast. Ecology Brown algae have adapted to a wide variety of marine ecological niches including the tidal splash zone, rock pools, the whole intertidal zone and relatively deep near-shore waters. They are an important constituent of some brackish water ecosystems, and four species are restricted to life in fresh water. A large number of Pheophysiae are intertidal or upper littoral, and they are predominantly cool and cold water organisms that benefit from nutrients in upwelling cold water currents and inflows from land, sargassum being a prominent exception to this generalization. Brown algae growing in brackish waters are almost solely asexual. Chemistry Brown algae have a delta 13 C value in the range of minus to minus, in contrast with red algae and greens. This reflects their different metabolic pathways, they have cellulose walls with alginic acid and also contain the polysaccharide fucoidin in the amorphous sections of their cell walls. A few species of padina calcify with aragonite needles. The photosynthetic system of brown algae is made of a P700 complex containing chlorophyll A. Their plastids also contain chlorophyll C and carotenoids, the most widespread of those being fucococcinthin. Brown algae produce a specific type of tannin called fluorotannins in higher amounts than red algae do. 
Importance and uses Brown algae include a number of edible seaweeds. All brown algae contain alginic acid alginate, in their cell walls, which is extracted commercially and used as an industrial thickening agent in food and for other uses. One of these products is used in lithium-ion batteries. Alginic acid is used as a stable component of a battery anode. This polysaccharide is a major component of brown algae, and is not found in land plants. Alginic acid can also be used in aquaculture. For example, alginic acid enhances the immune system of rainbow trout. Younger fish are more likely to survive when given a diet with alginic acid. Brown algae including kelp beds also fix a significant portion of the Earth's carbon dioxide yearly through photosynthesis. Sargachrominol G, an extract of sargassum siliquastrum, has been shown to have anti-inflammatory effects. See also Rack seaweed References External links Monterey Bay Flora The Monterey Formation of California, University of California Museum of Paleontology Theophysii, National University of Ireland, Galway